Kevin uh, Baxter Holmes with ESPN. I was wondering if you could just reflect on um, former teammate of yours, Jeff Green, his journey to this point. You guys share the unique distinction of being the last two active Sonics, and then also you dedicated, I think, a, a season to him when he was going through his, his heart surgery some years ago. Oh, yeah, this is deeper in basketball. Me and Jeff, um, of course, I'm ex um, happy to be playing against him, excited to compete against him. I can remember summers um, uh, for years that we worked out every day together. So uh, the basketball part is uh, pretty cool. But to uh, to see uh, just, you know, just to, just to kind of grow in this league with him a little bit, you know, our first few years and to now see where he is, family, kids, married, you know, it's just – it just, it just shows how, how much time has passed. So uh, it's deeper than into basketball with us. I'm just enjoying this time. We get to play on the court together and really appreciate the the moments we had together as teammates as well. Hi, Kevin. Jane. Janie McCauley from the Associated Press. Um, Draymond talked the other night just about a few lucky breaks maybe. I mean, he, he said that sometimes you're going to get a little luck. Do you, do you agree with that, that sometimes – that's going to play into it. And, uh, and also, you, you referenced boxing out and some of the things that you think you guys need to do better in game two. Um, what are some of those things? Yeah, if we focus in on, a, and on what we need to do is try to lock in on the details as much as possible, you know, that's just with any game. But if you try to lock in on the details as much as possible, the, that luck factor, you know, Good luck, bad luck. It's, it, it, you know you don't have it creep in if you try, if you figure out the the detailed parts to figure you know to be good at those parts of the game, and then you don't let the luck creep in. So you know we try to do our best to avoid that part, um, and that's by playing focused and better from the start. Uh, you know it starts with the like I said, small things, rebounding, loose balls. Um, you know just talking on defense. Uh, movement on offense, that type of stuff. And I think you can ask any player in the league and they'll say, tell you the same thing when it comes to that type of stuff. Third row on the right. Kevin, to your right, just a little Phil Barber, Santa Rosa Press Democrat. After two full years here and all you guys have accomplished, are there still some times on the court when you're trying to figure out if it's the time for you to sort of take over or a time to defer and share more with teammates? Uh, I think it's definitely gotten better since uh, last season. Um, you know, that's on me to kind of know the flow of the game. Uh, and I think I've done a solid job of that throughout uh, this season and throughout the playoffs. And, you know, I had some games where I struggled a bit, um, and that's just a part of it. Uh, but just kind of filling the game out. Each game may be different, you know, and I think that goes into focus. So if I come into the game knowing and being prepared for anything, then – I can conquer it, so, you know, but that goes back to just being locked in to start. Kevin Connor Letourneau, San Francisco Chronicle. Watching the film of game one, what, were you happy with the looks you got? Was it just a matter of shots not going in, or what, what was it, you think? Uh, I didn't take smart shots. Uh, I, took, I took risky looks. I took some shots that I know I can hit, but uh, I'd rather get better shots than that. Uh, but I'm not worried about my makes or misses. It's just more so am I getting good quality shots. And the rest, after that, it'll, it'll figure itself out. So, uh, But, you know, glad I was able to contribute and do other stuff as well when my shot wasn't falling and help us get the W. In the center again? Uh, Logan Murdoch, Barry News Group. Uh, uh, there's been reports that uh, Clay hurt his ankle and being around him. And what do, you, what do you think he'll be able to go tomorrow and seeing that, um, you know, how bad that injury looked and how he's looking today? Uh, I haven't really talked to him about it, um, seen him today, um, but just so focused on practice, I'm sure, just knowing Clay, uh, you know, he'll be all right. I'm going to go last two questions over here and in the back. Uh, Michael Pina, Vice Sports. Uh, Rodney Hood did not impact game one, really, um, but – uh, what influence can he have on the rest of the series if he's put back in the rotation? And then just generally, what type of a player is he? Uh, Rodney Hood is uh, lefty, lefty and can pretty much score the basketball really well. Uh, you know, he hasn't played for a while. Uh, but somebody that's always simmering on the bench is waiting for his opportunity. So, you know, if he gets, in it, gets a chance, that he's going to take full advantage of it. So we got to be prepared if he steps on the court. 
over here in the center, Ryan Gorsey, San Francisco Examiner. Uh, Kevin, there was a, a moment from the Houston series that it's kind of gone viral a little bit of Coach Kerr telling you, uh, you know, about about an anecdote from from the Bulls, and uh, there's been some negative reaction to it. What's been your reaction to that negative reaction? Did it get under your skin at all? No, I really enjoyed that conversation. You know, just having somebody that was that close to the legend, Michael Jordan, tell me, and uh, feel confident that. Uh, I guess we were in similar positions at the moment. It made me feel good about myself um, that he can relate that moment to Michael Jordan. Uh, but um, I always enjoy those stories from Coach Kerr, from Mike Brown, from guys that've been in the league so far, so long to, to share those experiences with the greats and the guys that kind of did it before me. And uh, I really, really appreciated that moment. I needed it as well. Um, it's good to kind of get a reminder um, from guys that are successful in the league, whether it's now and back in the past especially that can uh, to give you some some advice here and there when you need it. 